Hey friends, it's Sarah from She's Crafty and She Knows It. And today I'm gonna show you really quick how I did this floral wall in Ellie's room. So you don't need that many supplies at all. First, you're gonna get a bunch of artificial flowers. So in case that wasn't obvious, that's what you do first is buy the flowers. I actually got all the flowers that I used at Hobby Lobby. The flowers do add up and so if you're close to Hobby Lobby, to me, they have the best selection of artificial flowers. This video is not sponsored by Hobby Lobby or anything. They're not paying me to say that, but compared to other stores near me, they just have the best selection. But I did wait until everything was 50% off because it does add up. So I wanted to make sure the flowers kind of coordinated with Ellie's bedding. So I actually just took the sham off of her pillow, stuffed it in my purse, and then took it to Hobby Lobby so I could find flowers that matched. I bought way more than I needed just so that I knew I had plenty and then I'm just gonna return the extras with my receipt. Okay, so once you have your flowers, you're gonna wanna make sure the wall is clean. Your walls are probably clean. We just moved into this house about a year ago and there was kind of like this fine dust on the walls, probably from like, I don't even know, them cutting sheetrock or who knows, who knows what they were doing. So I kind of just wiped it down with a damp cloth, dried it, got the wall ready. Once your wall is ready, assuming that it's clean and everything, that way you know the tape sticks really well, just figure out how big you want your arrangement to be. So I knew that I'm taking up a pretty big space. I kind of figured out first, you know, the length I want it to be, the width I want it to be, height and everything, and then kind of decided how many rows to do. So I did five rows, kind of alternating five flowers, then four, five, four, five. That way they're kind of staggered. So this part's totally up to you. If you want to do more columns or rows than I did, or if you want to put them in a straight line, just do whatever <laughs> makes your heart happy. So. Once you've figured out your arrangement, you've kind of measured it out, I recommend go ahead and cut the flowers with these wire cutters. So I have wire cutters. Hopefully you have something like that. And you're just gonna, you know, figure out how long you want the stem to be. And you're gonna use these. And you know, if, if you're not used to using these, let me show you real quick. There's just a section at the bottom that cuts wire. These are not like the best wire cutters. Um, maybe you'll have something better, but you literally just put it in there. I'm not, I'm returning this one, so I'm not gonna show you actually how I cut it, but you just put it in there and you push really hard, squeeze them together and it will cut it. So now let me show you, I have like the one I was showing you, I have right there and I also have down here. You can tell these stems are a little bit longer. I was not precise with how long I cut any of the stems. They're all kind of different. I, there's no like real precision to it. So just do whatever you want. Like this one over here is super short because you can tell the flower part is really long. Um, this flower part's long, so the stem is also really short. And then other ones like these, I did longer stems because it just has a little like yellow things on top. So do whatever you want, but go ahead and cut your flowers once you decide how many you want. So if you can tell, I kind of have like a yellow flower here and then over here. And then same with the peach, like down there, up there and over here. That way they're kind of spread apart and you don't have like two or three of the same flower right by each other. So you kind of want to make sure that you're using several different ones. If you want to do a whole wall of like red roses, go for it. But since I bought an assortment, I didn't want to lump like all the peach ones together on accident and all the yellow ones over there or anything. So if you're the person that likes to plan, you can go ahead and lay out your whole arrangement on the floor. That way it makes it easier. So for the tape, I use, this is like, I've seen it called gaffer tape or gaff tape. I think it's used a lot like by bands and musicians to tape wires and stuff to the ground, like the, the wire to like the mics and stuff. That's my understanding. So it's kind of like white duct tape. So I will put a link to this in the description below this video. It is very sturdy. These have been up there for weeks already and nothing is budging. So I just use your scissors to cut the tape. This is obviously really self-explanatory. The tape is not that long. I only did like three to four inches. And then the main thing is, is I made sure when I did it that I kind of like really push the tape on the sides. So if that makes sense, instead of just putting it over here and then not touching the side of the stems, I really pushed it on the side and that helps you kind of pick like which way the flower turns. Because if it's not tight there, the flower's gonna flip flop every which direction. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can tell on all of them I did that. I like pushed really hard on each side of the stem and it holds the flowers in place. So guys, that's really it. It is just the artificial flowers with gaffer tape. It has held up so well. I love how it looks. More importantly, Ellie loves how it looks. She is my girly girl with all things flowers and unicorns and rainbows and sparkle and glitter. So this is just right up her alley. And I love that it's changeable and it's something she can grow into. She's only eight right now and I feel like I would love this 
in my room. So I feel like it's kind of a look that can grow with her. And then, like I said, it's really easy to change them out. So if she gets new bedding that has similar colors, but like no yellow, I'll just take the yellows out and add something different. So I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to do a fun flower wall somewhere in your home. And if you have any questions, just comment below. I'll try my best to answer them. And don't forget, I'll put a link to that gaffer tape in the description of my video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for more videos. Bye.